with an MP, and I have never met an MP before, didn't know anything about politics, took me ages to work out the difference between the Tories and the Conservatives, genuinely <laughs> didn't care for politics, right? And I'm, I'm more set to go in with this MP and have a meeting with this MP, and I'm going to talk about palliative care and maybe hospices and get them some more support and ask about why hospitals in different areas of the country have to, such different standards of care when it comes to things like terminal illnesses. And right before I go in, I do a live stream on my socials, and I'm like, guys, guys, really excited, going to change face of palliative care. Wish me luck going in to meet an MP. To give you an idea of my level of understanding of politics, um, I, for a long time, did not know who Margaret Thatcher was. I <laughs> thought she was like a pop star from the 80s. Like, I never really... Like, my parents were Polish, right? They just kept talking about fucking communism and some curtain coming down. I don't know. And... <laughs> So when it came to, like, Margaret Thatcher, like I said, I thought she was a pop star from the 80s. So I remember um, not long ago, um, or shortly um, before that time, I, um, there was a film that came out, and it was called The Iron Lady. And I was like, oh, I'll go on a date by myself, and I'll go watch this film, The Iron Lady. Right, I'll go on a date by myself, because I go on a date by myself, because I'm a comedian, nobody fucking dates female comedians. I'll go on a date by myself to watch a film called The Iron Lady. Like, pop star from the 80s, wonder if I recognise any of her songs. <laughs> so I, I start watching this film, and I'm like, oh, it's not a musical. Okay, this is weird. Okay, well, what is it? <laughs> Oh, she's a greengrocer's daughter. That's funny, that's funny. She's a greengrocer's daughter. That's quite funny. Oh, that's really funny. She wants to work in politics. Fucking, that's a very male-dominated industry. That's hilarious. She's going to work in a very male-dominated industry. Oh, she's doing really well. She's, like, surrounded by men telling her that's not how you do politics. I'm like, that's really funny. That's, I mean, I can fucking... That's very cool, because I know what that's like. And she's wearing really cool outfits. Look at those shoulder pads. And they're like, that's not what a politician looks like. That's fucking... No, no, fucking this, who is this bitch? And there is she. This is crazy. Oh, she's thriving. These people are being like, you're shit. We hate you. And she's fucking thriving. Who is this fucking... Like, who is it? Oh my god! Like, well, she'll be married. She can't be married because nobody wants to go and marry a politician. Yeah, I'm fucking like watching them on stage for fucking five minutes, but nobody wants to fucking settle down and put a ring on it. She's fucking married. This bitch is married. She's working in a male-dominated industry, and her husband not only married but loves and supports her and really supports her and holds her in fucking high esteem. Oh my gosh! This woman is a fuck. Guys, guys, why is nobody talking about Margaret Thatcher? She's a fucking legend. What the? This queen. Where have you been all my life? I came out of this film inspired by this woman I'd never fucking heard of and I came home and I posted online I love Margaret Thatcher <laughs> never put that as your Facebook status I got educated very quickly but that that was the level I was going into this meeting with, with this MP, okay? So before you judge, just understand, I was trying to change the face of palliative care, okay? <laughs> so I went in for this meeting with this northern MP, but he was conservative. Don't be fooled, they're just as dangerous, right? 